Make a Path presents Let's Talk. All right, Deadheads, Let's Talk, Fear the Walking Dead, Brady Bunch in the Zombie Apocalypse, and Human Walkers. Basically, I'm making this video to kind of correct the perspective that's being put out there by these websites, these third-party websites that basically put some bullshit title just to get that click, which we call clickbait, so they can pull in more ad revenue. Now, the latest one that made me just say, you know what, it's time to put out a video. This shit just, it's getting too ridiculous. It, I don't even know where this is from. VF, I don't, I don't want to go out of it to see because then I might lose the article because I just clicked on it. But uh, it says, will The Walking Dead fans really be interested in a sappy spinoff? This is by Joanne Robinson, uh, I don't know, May 18th it came out. Now, it's not just this. There's a couple articles from places like Movie Pilot or Fan Sided. What's the other one that is real shitty? I don't know. The first thing let's tackle, let's tackle the human walkers. I know one person was like, and I really wish I saved the article, but one person was like, what could they mean by human walkers? What is this all about? And the stupidity there is just on a whole nother level. This is taking place, I'm gonna say, maybe episode one is gonna be living regular life and going right into the outbreak when the virus hits. Now, when they're talking about human walkers, we're talking about the flesh itself is gonna be fresh. In The Walking Dead right now, we're years into the apocalypse. We're a few years in, so those walkers are rotted. They're like monsters. That's all they mean. They mean that in fear of the walking dead, and I love this. Come on, we all want to see some fresh walkers roaming around. It's not going to be so monstrous. It's not going to be all bloody, rotted, gory. That's all they mean. Now, for example, let's just say I die of a heart attack. I turn into a walker, okay? I'm not going to be all rotted, whatever. I'm sure they're going to be doing some kind of effects, uh, practical effects, obviously, with some makeup. Up, put some crap on my face to make my cheekbones extended a little bit to kind of make my eyes sunken in, darken around my eyes, shit like that. Maybe do some contacts. It, as far as that, though, I'm not going to look like a beast or a monster. And I love that aspect because, and I do have another video coming out about my project that I'm doing. And this is one of the things I'm uh, looking forward to, is I really want to see how they're going to go about doing that story-wise and bringing that out to the people. Because I know in my project, I wanted to do something where somebody gets arrested for killing a zombie. You know, and I love that idea. That's something that I'm just so excited to see them bring to the screen. Because I just think it's the thought. For us, we know. Oh, that's a fucking zombie. Kill them. But if I looked out my window right now and I saw my neighbor backing up and his wife is coming at him, maybe with her out arm outstretched and she's stumbling a little bit like she's drunk and he just freaks out and shoots her in the face, I'm going to be like, holy shit, he just shot his wife. You know, he'll get arrested for that whoop-de-whoop, -whoop, and here it turns out she was a zombie. I, that's what I'm looking forward to, and that actually, I just ruined it. That's actually a part in <laughs> in my project. But do you see what I'm saying? That's such an awesome idea. He's getting thrown in the cab. Maybe she bit him in the house, and he ran out, and he's like, I don't know what the hell happened. She friggin' whatever. That's the shit, the human walker element that I just absolutely love. And it makes it more personal because if it's your neighbor and he's not all rotted and looks visually like a monster, you know, if he looks just like your neighbor, maybe he's a little pale, eyes sunken in or blackened a little bit, uh, his eyes are a little milked over, It it's there's a little more personal level there as far as killing that, because that, it's not a creature yet. Killing that person, you see what I'm saying? That's what they mean by human walkers. Now, let's get into the family aspect, the people that are in love, that everyone on the internet, maybe I'm just noticing some really shitty articles pop up on Facebook. We already got a dysfunctional marriage with Rick and Lori, even in the walk, the original show, in The Walking Dead. Before the world went to shit, he was already having problems in his marriage. This marriage right now, and that's why I made fun of it being kind of like the Brady Bunch, we're going to have... From what I read so far, from the official site, this is what it sounded like, we're going to have a man who already was married and divorced and has kids from that marriage. And then a woman who, same thing, she was already married, already has kids from another marriage, and they are together. So the kids will be, you know, stepbrother and sister, whatever, how, how that's working. 
And I, I'm not sure if they recently got married or they're just dating and they they plan on getting married. But they're madly in love. They work as a team unit. I love that idea. Absolutely love that idea because now we don't have to worry about, you know, the relationship crap as far as drama with it falling apart and them arguing and bitching all the time. Now we can focus on two people who are in love, who can work together as a team, like they did say uh, in Robert Kirkman's interview, and they can handle this situation, or a, and we can watch them attempt to handle this situation, I should say. I'm sure the kids could be bickering back and forth. They might not get along. It all depends on how long they've all been a family unit, so to speak. So I really, really enjoyed that idea. And I know even this article I read right here, it's talking about how they're going to supplement, essentially, um, the guts and the gore, and they're going to focus on a relationship between the protagonist, uh, Travis, and, and Madison. And then in some of these internet articles, it says that they're going to take away the zombie gore, or gore at all, and give us relationship shit. Now, I'm telling you what, if they do do that, I will be the first one to bitch and complain. I think that is actually what... Um, took Bates Motel, 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 Bates Motel down a notch, Bates Motel, uh, Motel, why am I not saying that right? Uh, Bates Motel, Motel, <laughs> I just keep going with it, just keep fucking up. Uh, Bates Motel, that's what happened, the first season, potential masterpiece, after that it focused so much on fucking relationships that I don't even care about the whatever season we're on now, season four coming. Anyhow, I don't believe that they're going to go in that direction. Now, if they're telling us there's not going to be as much gore with the zombies and shit, yeah, I believe that because the zombies are not going to be rotted away, like I was mentioning before. But when a zombie attacks them, I'm pretty confident it's going to be gory as shit, just like the original show. I don't believe they're going to censor that and make this a family-friendly Walking Dead. That's what, you know, the third-party websites are telling us. I don't buy that shit, and I don't believe it. And the reason why I don't believe it is because every time they cite Robert Kirkman or Greg Nicotero, they're taking their words out of context. Just with the the human walkers or the, the sappy version of The Walking Dead. Just because they said that the main characters will be a couple that are in love. They will be working as a team. That's all Robert Kirkman said. But what this site pulled out of it was, oh yeah, it's going to be sappy, there's no guts, no gore, there's no zombies, it's going to be sappy relationship shit. That is just inaccurate. And it's ridiculous to even think that that's what he means. <laughs> if you guys want to know a chunk of what he said here, real quick, all the intricacies and struggles that come from that family dynamic and setting it against the fall of civilization in the face of the zombie apocalypse just makes things that much more interesting. That's one of the many things that allows these two shows to exist together without any kind of overlap. One of the things I'm really excited about is these two characters are really in love, are very much in love, sorry. Too often cable television shows deal with the breakdown in relationships and infidelity and people not getting along and people getting torn apart. This is a show that's pretty much about two people that are a team. First and foremost, they back each other up. They respect each other. They love each other. Now, that does not seem like they're going to take all the zombie gore out of it and put in just strictly a sappy, family-friendly Walking Dead love story. To me, I, that actually makes me excited because now I'm not going to sit here worrying about this couple having fucking problems, relationship problems in a zombie apocalypse. Talk about a show I do not want to watch. Holy crap. I don't want to see that, okay? We have enough shit on TV watching people breaking up and fighting and arguing. I love this idea. So again, I have not heard anything come out of Robert Kirkman's mouth, Greg Nicotero's mouth, the showrunner of Fear of the Walking Dead. I have not heard a single thing that I did not like so far. So I'm really looking forward to this. It is one of the most anticipated um, TV shows coming out this year in my eyes. That and season six of uh, the original show, The Walking Dead. Pretty soon we're going to get a trailer for Fear of the Walking Dead and I will be doing a trailer breakdown. Listen, since you are already subscribed, let's kind of expand this channel. Go ahead and tell everyone you know, all five of your friends, you fucking loser.
<laughs> Sorry. I'll shut up now. Just tell me what you think about Fear of the Walking Dead down in that comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now.